Well, Nephi Mann is turning his lifelong love of trains into reality here by building his own steam engines on a smaller scale. It's really cool. One train got him some big recognition in what's called the Metal My Way Contest that recognizes uh, mechanics across the U.S. and Canada. News specialist Mike Anderson got a look at his project that took decades to build. Okay. From the back of his garage. Here we go. Harry Heil is tinkering, crafting. He's building the pieces for a passion that he first picked up from his father, Art Heil. Who was a Union Pacific surveyor back in the 1920s. It's a lifelong obsession. This is an American 440. I built it. It took 38 years to build. Yeah, 38 years. More than half his life for a working steam engine. At least it was when he made this video last year. Now he's trying to perfect it and fix a leak somewhere within all those parts. He says he may never be done, and that's okay. I guess it's the boy in me. I hope I never grow up. <laughs> it's also why he felt the need to build a second, bigger steam engine, over 300 pounds. He says one day this one will be able to pull up to 10 adults. I was hoping that I could have it already running, but uh, it has its own mind. But behind this crazed train maker, he says there was always a family that stood by him. I was able to have a good family that supported me in my madness. A uh, madness that pushes him to keep refining even when it doesn't work out. He's got a pile of mistakes in the corner. We didn't find this out until after I started teaching college that I have dyslexia. All the more reason to keep trying to get it just right. And uh, I figure if I can do it with my, my little handicap, anybody could do it. But like many challenging okay. things, there is a payoff. Come on. One that makes visits with any of the 43 grandkids a little more fun. He's got one finished electric train just for those times. A little faster. Just so he can stand back and watch. Finishing is, is wonderful, but the making of the thing is what I love. In Nephi. Okay, guys, you were wonderful. Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News.